Hello guys, it is Bazinga here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're doing a play review, this is going to be my first ever play review that I have done on FIFA 13 and we are reviewing the Inform Lasse uh, Shone, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not too sure. Maybe one of my Denmark followers or subscribers will be able to uh, correct me on that or if you do know the pronunciation then be sure to tell me in the comments. And uh, this guy is from Denmark obviously and he's from the Eredivisie so let's have a quick run for his stats as you can see 74 pace, 76 shooting, 79 passing, 78 dribbling, uh, 53 defending and 60 heading. The defending and heading stats obviously letting him down there but he sort of has stats like Kabai in the Premier League. He's pretty all rounded in the uh, pace, shooting, passing and dribbling department and generally a really good player to get. Default, he comes out as a CM. I did manage to pack this guy, so as you can see, I am the first owner. He does have a four-star weak foot and three-star skill moves. You'll be able to see all that information down on the side. So now, if I show you the squad that I used him in, it is quite a good squad. I decided to go with a full Eredivisie team, as you can see in one second as I get this up now. Let us build the squad quickly. So as you can see, this team does have a mix of silvers, golds and all sorts. I do have Meinlhoff in goal. I didn't even know that he played in the Eredivisie, but he's a pretty solid keeper. This back line is really, really good. They're quite expensive though for non-rare silvers, but generally a solid back line for a silver defence. And the strikers as well, Fernandez and Kostagnios, I believe that's how you pronounce it, are both quality strikers and this team does play well. As you can see, it does have the 99 chemistry. So now I'm going to move over to the in-game stats for Shone. Right guys, we are back and we are into the in-game stats part of this video. So let's get started and go into his in-game stats. And I do have some of his key attributes down at the bottom of this video that you'll be able to see on the overlay. But let's just have a quick scour through his stats. So as you can see, 86 ball control, 72 crossing, 87 curve, free kick accuracy at 83, which is lovely for a centre attacking mid. Long pass, 82, long shots, 82, means he's got a bullet of a shot. And especially with the 79 shot power, makes him absolute a demon in midfield for taking those long shots and just outside the box. But as you can see, overall, like I said, the sort of like a Kabai type player, he doesn't have many red stats. As you can see, the red stats aren't too important, like slide tackle and marking, just because I was playing at the centre attacking mid roll. But let's move over to his information. As you can see, he's 5 for 10, quite small. Uh, you can play in the center attacking mid roll or the CM. And his work rates are medium, medium. But I did change those in game and put him to high attacking for playing in the center attacking mid roll. But uh, you guys can do that in the game too. But generally plays well at a centre attacking mid. I suppose if you're using something like a 4-3-3 formation and you put him in the middle with those medium, medium work rates, he would work well there too as a CM. That's his default card when it comes out. And we'll move over to his physical attributes. So now, as you can see, again, all yellows, one orange, and uh, two bright greens, which is lovely for this player. And as you can see, he does have 83 agility, and you really do underestimate the agility factor in this game, especially when you have someone with uh, high agility. You realise how good they are on the ball and how well they can get round players in the middle of the park. And generally, a really strong player, as you can see, he does have 70 strength. Obviously, not the strongest, but he does well against other midfielders in the game. And as you can see, moving over to the last page of his attributes, he does have 38 aggression, 44 interceptions, which isn't too bad for playing in the centre attacking mid row, I suppose, and the attacking positioning of 76 and vision of 77. And some of his main traits are finesse shot, flair and playmaker, as you would have seen down the side. So obviously having 77 vision makes it very good to play at cam as he can feed the strikers those all-important balls to lay the finish off. And uh, generally a really strong player. So now I'm going to move over to some gameplay and some goals and just generally talk about how he performed for me. Right guys, we are now letting the gameplay run in the background of the goals that I have scored with Shono. So as you can see with that first goal, just proving that he does have a lovely strike from just outside the area. And I always found him hovering in those positions. It was fantastic just to have that player on the edge of the box that can cause damage just there as well. As you can see, rolling the defender and shooting from the edge of the area and scoring the all-important goals for me. And generally really enjoyed playing with him, especially with him hovering in that area. His attack positioning may be 77, but I did find that it was absolutely brilliant just for hovering outside the area. As you can see there, that's a lovely penalty with him. He does have quite good penalty stats. And uh, generally an all-round midfielder and generally a fantastic centre attacking mid. And especially for the amount of coins that you're paying for Shone. I believe he's going for around about 13,000 average price now. And what a finish there from Shone. As you can see, just running it from the defender and powering it into the back of the net. And rolling the defenders again and firing it into the top of the net there. So overall, I would probably give this guy about probably a 9 out of 10, especially for... Uh, money like the money that he costs 
that what you get for his value is insane. And this goal coming up is just going to finish this off for me, guys. So I really hope you go out there and try uh, Shone for yourself. He's a fantastic midfielder. You can play him in any role, centre mid and centre attacking mid. Generally enjoyed this player and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. My Twitter and Twitch TV links are in the bottom. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.